Welcome to webinar part three of the webinar set on first steps with Transit Next. This recording shall accompany you while taking first steps with Transit Next Professional and Transit Next Freelance Pro. Please be aware of the fact that Transit Next Professional Pro has some restrictions compared to Transit Next Professional. This webinar will cover functionalities which are available in both versions. This is part three of a set of four webinars. In webinar part three, you will see first steps on how to organize reference material and how to create a dictionary. Let's reopen transit. Now, I want to show you how to organize reference material in order to recycle as most convenient for you. In transit, it is the language pairs we use as reference material, as translation memory. It is, for example, the files we have translated in the first project. Those files are still stored in the working folder of the first project, and where this folder is located is indicated in the project settings. This is the working folder where my translated language pair from the first project is located. In general, we recommend to create a reference pool, meaning to create a folder where you store your reference language pairs in order to organize the reference material to criteria which is most convenient for you. I have prepared a reference folder in which I want to store the language pair from project number one. Now let me show you how Transit helps us to do this. I go to the resource bar and click on the button reference material and the option organize reference material. All the way here, transit prompts us to a default folder. Let's open the working folder of the first project. I click on this icon to select the folder containing the reference material I want to I want to organize. So I just go there, project, project number one, click on OK, and here we go. With start, I analyze the folder, the working folder, in order to check what we have there. This was a simple project, but just imagine you have projects coming into 20 or more target languages with hundreds of files. So this overview might help you to organize. First, we see that we have language pair for English and German. The version is Transit Next. The file type was MS Office. And down here, we see the language pair files. We mark them and say we want to move them into a selected folder. I just click on this icon. And I am prompted to the reference folder with Food Congress. The reason why we are prompted here is I, for one, predefined this folder. And second, I defined in my user preferences that I am always prompted to this folder so that I do not have to browse through all the folders all over a network, for example. I can define, if I want to do something with references, I can predefine this in the user preferences. So I open the folder Food Congress and I say OK. And Transit has my two language files moved there. And that's about it. And I can close this Organized Reference Materials dialog. Now, let me show you how we can create a dictionary. I want to create a dictionary which we will use 
in part four in the more enhanced project. I click on the resource button dictionary, dictionaries databases, and I want to create a new dictionary slash database. Dictionaries are always stored in databases. I create a new database. I want to create an access database. Transit does also support SQL, MS SQL databases. Next. Now I have to create the database file. I click on Browse, and I am prompted to this folder, which is also here in my installation folder. I give my my database a name like this. I click on Save, and now I see where my database is stored. Next. This is the ODBC connection. This is only for, re for registration of the database in the, MS, in the access driver. So we recommend just leave the name and click on Next. Now, my dictionary for the database needs a name. I will call it glossary and click on finish. Okay, my dictionary is created successfully. Okay. Let's open the dictionary briefly. Dictionary, open dictionary. Here are all the dictionary and I open it. The dictionary for now is empty. We haven't entered anything. Here is the dictionary name, and in brackets we see the database name, and the dictionary for now is empty. So as a summary of this part three, you can also indicate complete projects as reference material. You, it's not a must to organize language pairs in a reference pool. And dictionaries are always stored on databases, and you can store one, more than one dictionary in one database. Thank you for listening to part three of this webinar set of four. If you have further questions, please turn to this email address.